Hey everybody, it's Jonathan with North Georgia Airless. I wanted to take a quick minute to talk a little bit about check valves, uh, in particular the plastic check valves that are used in most all of the uh, soft washing mixer setups. Um, there are quite a few check valve options out there. Uh, whether you are purchasing a mixer pre-built or whether you're building your own mixer, there's a little bit that I, I really feel like people should know about these valves. Uh, first of all, this is uh, a typical check valve that is used in basically everything that we sell or do out of here. Um, this is a uh, three quarter inch check valve. Uh, it is a flap style valve, not a ball check style. And this does have a uh, Hesloy uh, spring in it with a one-third PSI cracking pressure. Uh, the spring material is very important when it comes to bleach. Uh, the one-third PSI cracking pressure is very important when it comes to the resistance your pump goes through to pull in the material. Um, so we'll take the, the non-serious aspect and basically this video is going to be about you know the suck, blow, and finger of this. So you can take any of these check valves. This is a one PSI cracking pressure. Uh, this is also a flap style valve, but it is a substantial amount higher resistance just in what you notice with your finger. So that two thirds of a pound pressure difference is something you significantly notice. Now, another way to obviously see this is, you know, you can blow on this valve. So this valve is meant to flow this way and there's a substantial amount of resistance there with this valve it's very little no real effort so when you are looking at these check valves when you're building or replacing anything like that these are available out in the marketplace not just from a store like us but these are available on the internet you can search for them you can find them there's not going to be a couple dollars price difference, probably no matter where you get these things. But when you have pumps like the AR45, the AR60, Comet P40, even the Udor pump, stuff like that, when you put additional restriction on the inlet, this is like sucking a milkshake through a straw. When you first get that milkshake, that thing's thick, there's a lot of resistance, you know, you really have to try to suck that thing through the straw. You know, this is more like just pulling your normal everyday drink or that half melted milkshake. You know, yes, you have to suck to get the stuff to pop through there, but it's not near as difficult to do. Um, so anytime you're looking at these, what you're gonna see in your pumps is typically additional stress, leaks and stuff associated with these machines having to work harder to pull in the material as well as a decreased output. Now, this is a one inch valve. Um, the ball that is in that valve, hopefully you're gonna be able to see some of it in there, but that ball is restricting the flow. In no way, shape or form, even though this is a one inch ball valve or one inch metering valve do you have a full one inch flow orifice therefore you don't necessarily need the full one inch check valve the one inch part is why people are using these banjo check valves and other brands but it's just simply not needed when you already have a flow restriction that is greater than the flow restriction coefficient of this valve. So the long and the short of this is basically, even though bigger is typically better, there are no one inch check valves that I have been able to locate from any manufacturer that have the correct cracking pressure and the correct spring material to put in these systems. So that being said, you know, really watch the equipment you're purchasing. We're seeing a lot more of these pop up again in the marketplace. 
and I can tell you from a service standpoint, I'm going to say 75% of the pump work that we do is associated with mixers that have this style check valve. So take a look at what you're buying. You know, if you're, if you're purchasing from somebody that is using these, ask them to use these. Uh, there's a big difference in this versus this as far as everything about it. I mean, when you get down to even the specs because of the additional resistance, when you're talking suction pressure, suction pressure, which is not really pressure, but the amount of effort it's taking to pull, your, your flow is actually going to be in a lot of cases less in this one inch valve than the three quarter because of that additional resistance. Uh, anytime you have questions about any of this stuff, feel free to give us a call. Um, once again, this is not something that you're going to find in the setups that we do um, out of here. But like I said, we are seeing quite a few of them out in the marketplace. Always give us a call. Feel free to ask questions. Feel free to call. Even if you're buying something from somebody else, we'll be glad to kind of refresh you on what you're looking for. But it's one third PSI, Hasaloy spring, and a plastic check valve that you really need involved in any of these setups. Uh, Jonathan with North Georgia Airless, feel free to give us a call anytime, 770-532-4442.